So to recap, we went over the preference menu by hitting F4. I attempted to explain what each field meant. The only tabs I did not cover was the advanced and the video. Of course, you can explore those screens when you have your time, your free time and such. Now we come to how do we connect to a server? There are several ways you can do this. You can hit the Alt menu. Client sub menu Alt C. Alt C for client, as you heard NVDA say. New client instance CTRLNN. New client instance. If you are on a multiple Team Talk server, you can, of course, have that one open plus another, which a lot of people do that I hang out with. And to me, honestly, that gets annoying because you don't know who you're talking to and it creates a mess. So, of course, this would be a per user preference for you to experiment with. Connect up to see. Connect, you can either down arrow and hit connect, or if you want the shortcut key, you can hit F2. Preferences F4P. Preferences, we already visited that, so we can hit F4. Record conversations, CTRL Alt AD. Record conversations, Control Alt A. This allows you, if the server of course authorizes you, you can record a conversation of funny events that happen on Team Talk, anything else you may like. Or if you're having an administrative meeting, you can record your administrative meeting for record keeping and such. We will cover the recording section in a bit. Exit Alt F4X. Or you can exit. In this case, I'm going to get out of the menu structure. Client sub menu Alt C. Team Talk 5 Classic V 5.3.3 Dialog hit Review. The escape key. And I would encourage you to explore the menu structure yourself. This is not a full fledged tutorial on every single feature on Team Talk. This is just to get you started. Also, please note that this can be widely distributed. So I am not covering, for instance, which server I'm configuring, whose server, because no matter what, the same principles will apply to whichever server you wish to configure and or participate in. This is just a generalized idea as to how to operate TeamTalk and the like. So we are going to hit F2 to open up our connections manager. Host manager dialog default, 10,333 default, 10,333 host grouping, host list unknown. When you first open TeamTalk, it's going to present you with a list of hosts or the host manager. Think of it as your list of saved servers that you have to connect. By default, it comes checked with the public servers. And if you want to explore the public servers, you may do that at your own leisure. We are not going to do that as public servers can be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. For the sake of this tutorial, I am not going to go into full detail. This, of course, would be at your own discretion as to whether or not you wish to visit a public server. So we are going to tab. Import TT file button multi. You can import a TT file. A TT file or a team talk file is a predefined file which allows you to import a file or if you are going from the internet, for example, some stations offer a link where you just hit enter and it's going to ask you what do you want to open this with and it's going to say team talk by default. You're going to hit okay and it's going to say do you want to connect to this server? You're going to say yes and this basically allows you to not do the dirty work of configuring a team talk server. In this case, we are going to configure a team talk server manually. A team talk file consists of the following. The server name, the server host or address, the TCP slash UDP ports, username, password if required. It can also contain an optional channel if the server you are connected to requires you to connect to a specific channel, whether or not that channel will have a password. You do have that option in case somebody is nice enough and they are willing to give you a TeamTalk file where you can just download it from your email or download it from the internet and voila, you're on the server. So we're gonna tab. Include public servers checkbox checked. Include public servers. We covered public servers. I choose not to have these enabled, so I am going to uncheck. Not checked. And we're going to tab. Host properties grouping. Host address combo box collapsed. Edit land. Host address. So think of the host address as this. When we visit the internet, we open the address bar and we type in www.funadult.com. In this case, we're actually going to type in an address that was given to us as basically your home address, if you must, so that you are able to connect to a specified server. So in this case, I am going to type in a server name. I will type in tt.qs-hosting.com Remove button. And let's say if you screwed up for whatever reason, you can remove it. I just hit the tab right after that. We tab again. Host TCP port edit selected 10,333. By default, these ports are set to 10,333. So you're wondering, okay, what do you mean by ports? Think of 
your ports as a predefined number such as your zip code or something like that. When you get something sent in the mail or when you send something in the mail, you don't just say 2383 Arkansas Road, Little Rock, Arkansas. You have to have a zip code after that, especially if Little Rock is separated into multiple zip codes. Same thing with TeamTalk. Each server is defined by its own ports, or you can think about it as its own zip codes, so that you can differentiate from one server to another. In this case, I'm going to type in a defined server port for this particular server that we're connecting to. So I'm going to go at the end of the line. Blank. Blank. You heard blank blank. And I'm going to backspace. Three, 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 zero, one. And I'm going to type in. One, nine, eight, one. That is my server ports. Post UDP port edit selected 10,333. And the same thing with the UDP ports. Both TCP and UDP ports must match in order for you to be successful in connecting. 10,333. And I hit my right arrow until I got to the end of the line. And I'm going to backspace and make sure everything's deleted. Three. And we're going to type in. 1981. So just remember that both the TCP and the UDP ports must match in order for TeamTalk to connect. And we're going to tab. Authentication. Optional. Group and username. Combo box collapsed. Edit. Land. Username. If the server requires a username, this is where you will type a username, which in this case, my server does require a username, but I am not going to give it up for the sake of authenticity. If you would like to be invited to my server, you can email me, Facebook me, whatever you have. My contact info will be given at the end of this tutorial. So I'm going to enter my username. I just did, and I'm going to tab. Password edit protected. Land. If your server requires a password, this is where you will enter a password, which in this case mine does. I just enter the password. Join channel optional group and channel name edit. Land. Join channel optional. This is, for example, if you want your server to connect to a specific channel, or if you're creating a team talk file for somebody, you can have it join a specific channel, which in my case, I'm going to leave it as is. So we are going to tab again. Password edit protected. Land. And if that channel requires password, you can have it join that channel. Clear button hotel. And of course, you can clear all the screw ups or whatever. And of course, I'm tapping around. Connect button multi. You can either hit connect, or if you want to save a server, you can. Save server information group and entry name edit. It gave me the guest and blah, 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 blah. So I am going to erase all this. And I'm going to type in my name, as in Mondo. M A N D O land. Generate TT file button multi. Generate TT file. Here's where once somebody inputs the server settings, you can generate the TT file and title it whatever once you save it. And it's going to have all the credentials saved where you can pass to somebody and somebody can connect to your server without having to do all the dirty work like we did. So then we're going to tab. Add update button holder. Add update. This is where we're going to update the server. So we hit the space bar. Rest. And it's not going to say anything, so if we tab again... Host group and host list, Mando not selected. Host list, this is Mondo not selected, so we down arrow. Mando. Or you can hit the space bar. And since this is the only server saved, it's not going to give me anything else. If you have another server, it's going to be all down to Trivia, Mondo, The Mix, Heat FM, or whatever. You know, you can have many servers, and all these servers, you identify them with your own label so that you know which server you're connecting to. Depending on the server you are trying to connect to and whether or not the admin has created an account for the use of Facebook, you can do the following. Under the username, you input Facebook, and you're going to tab until you hear server entry, erase whatever's there, and replace it with however you wish to save it. You are going to tab until you hear add update. You're going to hit the space bar. You will then tab and you will find the server that you had just saved that has the Facebook username. Hit enter on the saved server. At that point, TeamTalk is going to redirect you to Facebook in which you will then input your username and password that you used to log in with Facebook. Once you have confirmed that, Facebook will then bring you back to TeamTalk and at that point, you will be logged into the server that has the Facebook account access.